hello guys welcome to yet another episode of microsoft yappy beginners tutorial so this video today is going to be the continuation of our previous video where we started our discussion about the summary update in microsoft dynamic 365 so let's explore summary update further with additional topic that we couldn't uh, accommodate in the previous video so um so we have already explored about this um, um like i'm in the account receivable parameter go to the account receivable clicking on the parameter it will take you to this summary updates tab this is something which we have already discussed in the previous video we did explore about various options that are available over here in the previous video so when you are pretty much having an invoice account option then it is going to uh, default this invoice account in the sales order and the sales order will actually merge on the basis of the invoice account in this particular case and it's going to follow the rules that we have defined against the invoice account section in this case it's going to merge all of the sales order on the basis of invoice account and currency this is something that we have already seen in the past video so uh, just very quickly we will see one simple scenario and then i will show you the variations of the same and some additional scenarios so to save some time i've already created uh, two sales order these two sales order are already packing slip posted and they are already delivered i'm going to invoice them so let's pick 51 and 52 so 51 and 52 they are already uh, packing slipped sales order so now i'm going to click on the invoice button and uh, I, this option is defaulted from here as we already know so which means that it's going to merge both of the sales order since they both have the same uh, invoice account okay so they are actually referring to the same customer account so they will be merging together so i'm going to enable the sales order invoice uh, printout and say okay and yes so this is going to now um, consolidate both the sales order together in one invoice as you can see this is the sales order number first sales order number the second sales order number both the sales order have one item each and you are having the consolidated invoice journal created right so this we have already seen in the past so now let's do a slight adjustment to the same scenario so if I go to the account accessible parameter and go to the summary update parameter in there we will add an additional rule uh, let's say uh, let's add a delivery term as an additional rule oh no let me add it against invoicing so let me add the delivery delivery term oh that's here add them and i don't want to add it in the quotation for now just remove it so in the invoice tab i have a delivery term added i'm going to save it and go back so now uh, again the scenario is same like as you see 51 52 we just consolidated them they both have same invoice account likewise the 53 and 54 as well have same invoice account and they are delivered as well but you see that the delivery terms are different okay one is free on board and one is actually having cif so there are two different delivery uh, term so in this scenario since we also consider the delivery term for the invoicing it will now actually create not just the consolidated invoice but it will create two different invoice for two different delivery term that that's the, our expectation so let's try to click on the invoice button and uh, let's also print the invoice let's see what happens So I expect it prints two invoice reports separately and creates two invoice journal as well. 
so as you see here it, it actually having only one item in it and if i go back you see here it is actually having another item in it so in this particular case you have two different invoice uh, journal created so um, even if you go here and check the invoice journal you will have the different invoice journal for both of the uh, sales orders okay so this is something that i promised to cover in the previous episode which is having an additional selection made in the summary update parameter so the system will work or behave accordingly so apart from this there is also one more option over here which is called as split based on right this is also very very useful feature so by default uh, this and these are already turned on for packing slip and uh, pick, uh, picking list and packing slip for the site. You cannot disable them. So let's explore it for the delivery information. So I'm going to enable it for the packing slip alone and let's see. So the expectation here is let's say that you have a sales order and the sales order is having two item lines and each of the item lines are shipped to two different delivery addresses let's say for example let's say the customer is having two different sites and two different delivery sites meaning so they are of different delivery address so realistically i want two different packing slip to be generated so i can print them out because each of them are having different shipping address right so in order for that to work, you might need to enable it here for packing slip. You need to enable it for invoice. You may need to enable it here for the confirmation report. In the current situation, the confirmation report will be the same. One confirmation journal will be created for two different delivery address. Whereas here for the packing slip, two different packing slips will be, deli uh, will be representing both the different delivery addresses. Uh, so let's now go and check this out so let me click on the new button and uh, create a sales order and say okay and I'm going to add an item so let me add this item and I'm going to add another item oh before that I'm sorry I need to firstly make sure that the customer is available for us with two different delivery address. So let me pause here. Uh, uh, let me just pick a customer. So that customer. So that customer right now is having uh, only one address. Let me also edit this address and change it to delivery address and say, okay, that's a primary address. And I'm going to add one more address and let me just name it as warehouse 002, let's say for example, and let me also consider it as a delivery address and uh, let me just pick a zip code which is available in my system uh, okay so now i have two delivery address for this customer so go back now you are ready to create a sales order all sales order So let's create a sales order. Choose the second customer. And go ahead with your sales order line. Add the, the part. And um, uh, make sure it is of two different delivery addresses addresses here so right now it is pointing to the first address and I will be now choosing um, my second item roof rack 
and I will be now changing this to that address so that's the second address it has two different delivery addresses so let's now confirm this and you see oh sorry let me um, let me make sure that the confirmation report is printed so you know that there is only one confirmation according to our setup so um, okay so let's see what happens while confirming so during the confirmation process you see that one confirmation report generated holding both the items whereas if i now go and do the the packing slip the system will actually uh, considers the the setup that we have made here in the parameter which is specifically meant for the delivery information packing packing slip so you already see that there is two packing slip generated instead of one and each for two different delivery addresses and um, you see that it's representing forest and it's representing different address so now go ahead and say okay okay i forgot to print it but you will see that there are two packing slip and each of the packing slip will have uh, different addresses printed on it because we wanted uh, two different packing slips in this particular example so you see that it is having the second address printed on it for the roof break so these are some of the additional things that you could do with the summary update feature in microsoft dynamic 365 guys hope this video was helpful